welcome to today's vlog. We are going to Tatton Park to Fern Cotton's Happy Place Festival. We booked it months ago, didn't we? Oh gosh, yeah, like in, in, in June? Yeah, June, July, August, September, <laughs> September, three months ago. I do this every time, but it's <laughs> coming. Anyway, we're going. Anyway, we're going, yay! yay! So she's got, yeah, Fern Cotton's got a Happy Place podcast, which I've been listening to. Have you heard any of it? No. Terrible fan. Get out. No. Go home. You're I not haven't. coming. <laughs> and that's basically where I heard about it. So she does a podcast speaking to loads of celebrities and just people you wouldn't even expect about mental health issues and just how they get through general life and how they try to be happy in the world. And I just really loved it. And she mentioned that she had this festival that she'd organised. The festival is basically um, just about yoga and mindfulness and just being happy how to be happy <laughs> let's learn how to be happy so we could do with doing I think we that, all need we? a bit yeah. of that don't we so that'll be nice so yeah you've seen Arlena before this is Arlena by the way um, we've got a little bit of glitter on our face as well I really hate loose. glitter usually absolutely hate it goes everywhere I'd never be able to get this off I'll find glitter but to be fair you've done this really good yeah and we've got it on our arms makeup artist cat everywhere <laughs> just everywhere we did kind of everywhere. want to go a bit mad with it once you start you get carried away anyway we just thought we'd kind of get into the vibe of a festival feeling and yeah I'm dancing to music that doesn't exist right we're going to get on the road now it's going to take us an hour and eight minutes precisely so that's my sat enough to get there so we're going early it's 20 past eight let's get on the road Arlena see you there see you there because she was in a ditch she thought she'd lost some of her height so yeah cars are still arriving there's quite a few people here considering we are pretty early so i'm very glad that we came early that's all i've got to say really <laughs> we're right near an airport so I think that's why we keep getting so good <laughs> We've just arrived in the, is this just the, called the talk stage? The talk stage. The talk yeah. stage. Um, we're going to listen to somebody talk about 10 to Zen. Yep. 10 to Zen. Which is what we need by I now. I think it's a good way to kind of actually start. Yeah, we've had a good gossip in the car on the way here and a good laugh. <laughs> we almost we lost our voice bit. from laughing, so I think we need to Zen. Maybe we need to like calm down yeah, now. Yeah, we need to calm down yeah, now. Just a little bit of a calm down. <laughs> Not that we've got so, too worked up or anything. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. I'm so happy we're here. And it's a really beautiful day. Which is, which is perfect really feeling to day. have at the Happy Place Festival. Yeah. <laughs> we're already happy. <laughs> the record burners.
so annoyed about my long legs right now. Like, where am I supposed to put these things? Look at Arlena, she's just like, all tucked up. All tucked up and folded away. And my legs just everywhere. <laughs> I'm always suspicious of these, are you, Amanda? I'm not quite sure what they're doing. Touch them, it gets on your fingers. They taint you. Is it worth it? Uh, it's sort of quite nice, but I don't criticise it. They're probably sponsors. Aren't they? <laughs> this is a fine. How an idiot would criticise these what? sweet, stinking sticks? <laughs> you've just imagine you're you. You've just been to the toilet. You've defecated. You're human. It stinks in there. You feel shame. Animal shame. For all your lipstick and your blush and your glitter. Look at the mess you've made in the shitter. You've got to put a juice under these little sticks to cover up the reality of you. Ah, oh, what monkey people we are, deep down. We're at war, at war with our true selves. Yeah. Boxes, we find it safer, right? So I don't know what goes on in your marriage, Amanda. <laughs> in my home, we don't put each other in boxes. <laughs> We lay very politely next to each other and then we shake hands at the end of it. No one needs to be confined. I thought you were going to say you don't know what goes on in my box. I'm glad you didn't answer that. I scarcely dare contemplate. It's not 2006. Uh, so we've just been sat down for about three hours. How are you feeling? Literally, my butt. <laughs> really cute. Breathing. You just put this thing me. <laughs> I've lost breathing in my butt. Uh, I can't feel my yeah. No, I, I can feel everything. Wait, walking into a post. I can feel everything, but really intensely. Like, my whole legs are just like, ugh. But that was really, uh, Oh, it was good, though. Um, it's worth it. Like, mentally. I know yeah. physically, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, we're just whinging about the physical side. We've just been but to watch, like, talks about mental health and things, and we're just, like, whinging about our legs. Though. It's refreshing. Yeah, definitely. Mentally, it's refreshing. Yeah. Absolutely, we've listened to a few different things, really, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, there's been a lot to take in. Everything <gasps> from yeah. listening to what's your brand, and just being absolutely like, <laughs> to just being, I don't know, really deep in yeah. mental health problems in terms of control and grief and, yeah. you know, everything that we go through everyday life that people get stuck in. Yeah, yeah, it was really, yeah, really. That's why we're here, basically, is to listen to these things. I love the fact that just it's allowing people to open up about these things and talk about things that people don't talk about in life. or for coming back if you have popped out to do other classes etc thank god for you lot who couldn't be bothered to do the great north run <laughs> hallelujah that you lot are here it's been so lovely walking around and uh, meeting a lot of you today and having lovely chats um i so appreciate all of you being here and for all the feedback we've had so far um it's been a jolly lovely day quite frankly oh, welcome back you can speak holly and i'm done now this is what always you you can be my gym because normally when me and jim are vlogging together jim just has to take over towards the end of the video because i start just getting done i'm just done with the day he's 30 years old <laughs> acts like a 50 year old <laughs> and after five o'clock what things have i done that's made you think i act old today oh she can't sit on the floor for more than an hour <laughs> Sitting on the floor. Oh, you just don't do that anymore, do you? When you're an adult, my legs are too long. Okay, <laughs> too the long. Benefit of short legs, so oh. I can kind of like pack them away. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, 
<laughs> it's beneficial. I mean, I I don't normally like having short legs, but in moments <laughs> like that, it's like I don't take up any room. Oh, I was taking up space for like three people. <laughs> you little spider. Well, I had to like stretch, but and every time I had to like cross my. You know when you have your legs cross one way and then you have to like cross yeah. the other way. My legs had to like had to like pull on like. <laughs> Go over everybody's like, so. But everyone wants long legs though, don't they? Yeah, it's well, like a... you know, they should think about the consequences of having long legs. <laughs> Short legs, yeah, pack them away. Anyway, we've had a lovely time, but it's gotten to that stage where we've just been walking around um, a, a bit of... tired since yeah. we did the... No, since we've been... Since we sat down and listened to Russell Bond and Fern Cotton, we just got really After tired. After that peak, because it was a yeah, peak, and then it was like... Yeah, it, There's so much information to take in, and there's a lot of emotion involved. And then we had all that, yeah, the emotional There's chat. a lot of emotion involved, and um, I think it's... When you've been walking around, and the excitement, and then doing yoga, and and listening, and, and looking around, and looking at the shops, and not only taking in all the information but then mm. like the emotional aspect that comes with it and the information that you're taking in and the amount of times you're overthinking and taking yeah. in new concepts <laughs> that's so true um yeah. that you know it is a bit like draining yeah to to kind of like keep focused yeah. and we've I'm lost glad. your focus now I'm glad that, yeah, we're done it wasn't just me feeling like that that's that's, that's probably like half the people have gone Probably why half the people have gone out of the car park. Yeah, like we thought we were leaving early because it's still going on, but there's a lot of people of, have left. Like, this is just my bedtime. This is when I left, start getting so. really tired. That's why Alina's laughing at me for being old. And I'm just like done with the day at five o'clock. I'm just like, I just want my home comforts and bed. But do you know what? This festival, as we just said, when we were chatting before, is all about what is good for you, finding what you enjoy thinking about yourself and it sounds really like put yourself first. yeah it sounds awful that's the, no, that's the whole thing though no, yeah. you know it what? doesn't some people might go oh thinking about mental health and taking time out for yourself and doing all this stuff might i don't know who i'm doing impression of might sound a bit like egotistical i don't know no, just like no. all senses about do yourself you know and, but actually you need to do that because we spend so much time thinking about what's going on around us and there's always the so past, many things going on the past two years Kat, just need to like a completely so, selfish way the yeah. past two years of my life selfish, have all been about my, me yeah it's like i've had the opportunity of being on my own mm. and it's all been about yeah, me and that's it's, true. but you know like in yeah, a lot of the talk <laughs> in a lot of the talks where they're trying to promote how to be happy with yourself and mm. to love yourself like not being big-headed like i do love myself Aww. i do love the person i am You've like obviously I've had yeah it's things that i don't time, like I about think. myself yeah. but i i've had time to actually appreciate yourself and um have time to myself and learn things, learn new skills and learn things that I'm into and completely go for new experiences and build that confidence yeah. up. So I actually, like, it's so That's true. Okay. Having that time to yourself and discovering who you are, mm. it helps, um, it really does help learn to love yourself and to start enjoying your own company yeah that's lovely yeah, yeah i think it's because you've had this time to What's take that quote when it's like it's not about discovering yourself because you already are yourself like you can't i don't know but somebody said something quite similar quote. today actually mm. said that you already have that in yeah, you what you're looking for that. is that what you said yeah um hard to break down what russell bond says because it's very uh, <laughs> wordy and <laughs> long and then you're like what does I mean, the whole mean? time i was just like that's just the gist of her yeah he talks in such a rhythm, doesn't he? Like yeah. it's like he's like rocking back. Yeah, yeah, it's and then oh, it's amazing. Skill. He's a talented man. I feel like we're doing a little podcast interview now. I feel like oh, we're yeah, we going into oh. in depth about what we, <laughs> we've been inspired. This is a little chat about mental health. Someone's doing oh, cartwheels outside do the car. This is you know what? Even when I was a child, I could never do really? cartwheels or handstands. No, I, I doing couldn't. It in, the field, I in the field, in the play playground, could never do it at school. Always, and I always, I was always like the kid at the back who was up against the wall trying Brilliant. to do a handstand, but never achieved no, it. Never mind. That's a new achievement plan. Oh no! I'm not trying to do handstands and cartwheels I need with you. To, <laughs> I need to learn to do a handstand before I'm thirty. I've just decided that was something I did when I was young. And now I don't do yeah, like sitting on the heart. floor. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. Anyway, um, we decided the other day that we were going to Pizza Hut, didn't we? Yeah. After the festival, so all day. To be honest, all we've been thinking about is Pizza Hut. Yeah. 
quite a lot of um, I just like caught Alina on a phone a second ago and I was like, you know, oh, what, what are you looking at? And uh, she was looking at the, the menu. menu. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, I think this is while someone was chatting. So I think <laughs> that was kind of, that's when a woman was fit, uh, talking about fitness <laughs> to everybody. I found Alina doing that. So I thought, I think it's time to go. Definitely. <laughs> I have just come to the conclusion that I am fine with being... Take, taking time like being old and taking time out for myself and doing what you have doing to do. what i enjoy because that's the thing i spent so long when i was younger thinking oh well i have to go out drinking i have to go out to clubs i have to go out partying because that's what everybody does and then i suddenly realized hang on a minute no it's not so i don't do that anymore because i don't enjoy it and okay there's a hell of a lot of people that do enjoy that kind of thing and i'm just like I don't, so why force myself to do it? You Just find, because you think you know, that you have to. And I don't, don't think, I don't think, I don't think what, what a like. lot of people think that the alternative to that is to just sit at home and watch yeah. TV. Yeah, it's think, either nothing go else out to and do. get drunk or stay at home and watch TV. Yeah, be boring. But You're so, so boring if you do that. There's so many other things to do. Go to festivals, find a hobby, learn a new skill, yeah. meet up with people that have similar interests to you. Like, there's so much more you can be doing. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're boring if you don't do that. Like, yes, I do like sitting at home. I do, I do like sitting at home, actually, but you know. Sometimes, um, do you know what, though? Sometimes like, you just need to sit at home and watch a good wrong film. With that. And sometimes you do it without realising you needed it. You know, the other I day... Feel guilty all the time when i do it as well i feel like i'm not being productive oh yeah i do sometimes but i'm trying i'm tr this is what i'm and doing people this year. will message me and it can be about work or whatever and i should be replying to it and i'm like i just can't yeah. and just you like, feel you know guilty what? but so what? So, yeah, sorry, it's like we never say, no like in the olden days you work nine to five and then after five you cut off you go home but now nine o'clock at night ten o'clock at night you get an email with some messages about yeah. work and you never ever ever shut off yeah it's about switching off isn't it and realizing that you don't have to check your phone and see what's going on in the whole entire world about it. yeah um i've had it doesn't people matter if you don't message people back it's yeah. not facebook isn't the world <laughs> you don't have to i know it kind of is but it really isn't like yes i'm quite an online person i post a lot on instagram i look mm. a lot on instagram i don't really use facebook much but i do do a lot on instagram and yeah, that's just because I like vlogging as well and I like sharing stuff and getting to talk to other people about things like this and all sorts. Yeah, okay, my, my whole bloody YouTube isn't about <laughs> mental health and things, but it's just an outlet, isn't it, for yeah. everything I do and I, just a little creative thing that I do. But yes, Instagram helps that and makes, you know, gets a bit more attention to it by using social networking. But you just got to realise that you've got to not let that take over your life. This is so messed up, this talk. It doesn't make any sense. I don't even know what we've spoken about. We just what I meant. We just, um, we just had yeah, like just, about we to... five different people talking at us about mental health and living in the now. So we need... We've had like everything thrown at us today <laughs> and now we've gone, right, guys, like, don't be on social media. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and here I am posting this on social media. That's what I'm saying. Sounds so confusing and messed up. But I think you know what I'm saying what anyway let's go get some pizza pizza we just want to say goodbye now because we're all stuffed with pizza i feel like a stuffed crust <laughs> <laughs> well done point tonight Arlena can we say goodbye please <laughs> apologies that I'm having to film the goodbye on my phone because the camera battery died just as we were trying to say goodbye because we took forever to stop well you took forever to stop laughing do you joke do you joke no I've, I've, I'm, I'm going to keep that in oh okay. it's okay I don't have to repeat <laughs> place festival has oh. had this lovely happy effect oh. on you yeah it was the pizza mainly. yeah i okay. mean no the happy <laughs> it was the happy festival <laughs> you're lying aren't you it was the pizza no i had a lot of fun on the happy festival me too me too no i'm glad i got to spend and, the day with you yeah it's and then lovely. like the pizza at the end really it topped it, it was off good. so we had yeah we had we've just had a lovely day and then we've had like lovely heart to heart chats in the car yeah. oh, and my, all yeah. sorts with a therapeutic rant on the way here and then we got really deep and just yeah nice and therapeutic but on the way to pizza this shit has to come out yeah and it's nice that we've got each other to talk to yeah. you about
<laughs> so yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next vlog and maybe you'll see arlena in another you know, vlog at some point maybe you'll never see me again thank you but you will oh, so why do i say stupid shit bye. like that <laughs>